I would say that the first step is to increase economic literacy. So what we all can do right now is to become better informed and spread the word. I think that with an economically literate, linked up movement, with all those individuals who are still giving a lot of their time to protect wildlife, to protect jobs, they're really concerned about what's happening both at home and abroad. There's a multitude of organizations and individuals who really do care. Most of the churches, I mean, across the world, there is the possibility that all those concerned citizens could just get that little bit of economic literacy to send a clear signal to their political leaders. The political leaders right now naively, we could hear Barack Obama himself right now, naively believe that supporting their multinationals is good for their country. Right. Well, Mitsubishi told Japan a long time ago, well, we're not really Japanese. Volkswagen has been having a discussion inside you know, the boardroom saying, are we really German anymore? We're producing in Brazil, selling in China. What makes us German? We need to wake up to this. Supporting big multinationals to get even bigger doesn't even help the CEOs themselves because they're then in a rat race of mergers and mega mergers, so their job is on the line as well. We don't need this rat race. There's no reason for it except blindness. So economic literacy, I think, is the key.